Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Community Connection. I'm Jenna Brooks, your local realtor, and today I am with Kyle Campbell, the general manager from West Haven. Welcome, Kyle. Hi, Jenna. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Good. You know, on, on these uh, unprecedented times, um, Kyle and I were just chatting but you know, obviously everybody is is struggling right now with normalcy, right? We don't we don't really know what's going on, and and with West Haven, the Golf and Country Club, um, you guys are obviously taking a huge hit. So I wanted people to, if if you don't know Kyle, I want you to get to know him. He's really awesome, and and so let's start with your journey, Kyle. How did you get to West Haven, and then let's talk about how West Haven is really rallying. Uh, to come together as a club. Okay. Um, well, my time at West Haven, uh, I grew up here as a kid. Um, I learned to play golf here as a, a toddler and attended the junior camps. I was fortunate my grandparents were members here. Uh, so I was a junior member. Um, and then my first summer job at 15 was uh, cleaning clubs, picking range balls. Uh -huh. uh, so I worked in the back shop. Um, then sort of stuck with it. I, I went to university here in London um, at Western. And while I was there, I worked in the pro shop. I got convinced that I could be a golf professional. And so I was for a few years here. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's uh, lit literally one of the only places I've ever worked. Um, so you always first... knew you were going to work with West Haven? You know, I, I honestly, I didn't. Uh, I think through school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I was torn between, I, I went for business, uh, but I auditioned for music. Um, I got in for music, never went oh, for wow. music. My post-secondary was a bit of a schmozzle, but got through it. Um, <laughs> and then sort of just fell in love with the people here, the place, um, the job of being a golf professional and teaching lessons and being around the golf course every day seemed like a great thing. Um, and then um, three about three years ago now, so November uh, 2016, I took over as general manager um, when my predecessor when my predecessor predecessor left. Um, so, pretty odd story in this business to to be at the same place and have those different positions occur. Um, you know, all in 15, 16 years. I guess this will be my 16th season here. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I so that's sort of how interest, I got here. Right, like the relationships that you've you know, created and nurtured over the years, like you are literally a product of West Haven. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think that was one of the best things that happened to me is that I was very lucky in my career so far that opportunity sort of presented itself to me here. Um, obviously, it came with working hard and, and learning and, and taking everything I could from the people I was working with and, and working under. Um, most often, pros or managers have to go to other clubs to get that next level of experience. Um, and I was very fortunate that I just got lucky with timing, but just as things were changing, new experiences came to me. Um, there were several times where I was considering it time to make a change and, and go somewhere else and learn and something would change. You know, we had a new head pro start in 2014 and then a new general manager in 2015. Um, and for two seasons, he took me under his wing really closely and, I learned a ton from him, uh, Adam Hagen. He was fantastic. Um, and then uh, one day uh, I was sat down by two board members and him, and I honestly thought I was in trouble. And they said <laughs> to me, uh, we'd actually like to have you run the club to the end of the year as a sort of a trial period. And then we'll make a decision on whether we want you to stay on as general manager. And, and three years later, here we are. So, wow. um, yeah, pretty, Did you pretty wild story. meeting floating or what? <laughs> Well, I walked in and I looked at Adam and I thought, am I getting fired? <laughs> like I'm being sat down, two board members are over there. I think, yeah. oh, okay, what's going on here? Um, and then walked out of it and I was almost in disbelief. Uh, yeah, what like, just oh, happened? <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, cool. So I was very lucky. I got to keep the people in the membership that I knew and the people that I really liked and this place has always been so relaxed and friendly and welcoming. Um, you know, I think private clubs get a bad rap for being sort of stuffy and snooty mm -hmm. and that's just not us. We're a fun, relaxed place. Um, our membership is so supportive and friendly 
and I've been fortunate enough to be able to stay. And that's uh, certainly a blessing for me. Okay, so I have a question. What yep. is um, what is one thing that has happened, I guess, over the last three years that was like really exciting that you weren't really expecting? Really ex right <laughs> exciting, really exciting, but not expecting. Um, that's a that's a good question. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exciting in a positive sense, okay, um, okay. but we did actually face a pretty big challenge as a club um, yep. in 2018. Uh, we had a clubhouse flood. So our entire lower level of the clubhouse flooded. Uh, the property received just over four inches uh, of rain in an hour, oh my um, which the superintendent figured was over like millions of gallons of water on the property, um, which it was insane. I, again, I've been here for such a long time. I've never seen a storm like it. Okay. Um, and probably one of the most positive things out of that, obviously my head was spinning that day. My office is underwater. I'm having to close the club for the foreseeable future, yeah. um, sort of panicking. And a couple of days later, uh, we asked our members to come out and help us repair the golf course so that we could at least get golf going again. Rake bunkers, fill divots, whatever it was. Wow. And with very little notice, we had 50 people show up, 50 or 60 members show up. Um, and one member stood to the side and said, Hey, Everybody, we're here to support Kyle and support Todd Curry, our superintendent, and all the staff here at West Haven. They're working really hard for us, and we got to pitch in, and we've got their backs. Wow. And the superintendent and I stood there, and admittedly, we're both a little choked up. No uh, kidding. Because it was awesome. I mean, a lot of people would react really negatively to something like that. What a wicked I mean, reflection, right, of, of you and the club. Like... It, it was, that was probably one of the highlights of my career here that day, obviously in the midst of a very stressful time, my head's all over the place with how to repair this, who to call, you know, insurance, all this stuff. Yeah. Um, and then to have that support and that, you know, have, have the membership, have our backs like that and, and speak so highly of us was such a compliment. Um, it was, that was probably the most, like one of the best days I've ever had. For Even sure. in, in the midst take, of a terrible thing. Yeah. And way to take such a, a stress, stressful experience and it turned out yeah. so rewarding and beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty cool. So now with this current situation, how are you and how, how's the club handling it? Um, day by day. I mean, it's, uh, as we all know, it, it's changing so dramatically very quickly. Um, at this point, we are obviously closed um, for all services. Uh, so our dining and banquet events have all been canceled through April. Yeah. Uh, and now they're canceling into May, um, which is totally understandable. And I think uh, the people that are either moving their events or having to cancel are just as disappointed as we are. I think yeah. nobody wants to not celebrate their baby shower or their wedding or their, you know, corporate dinner, whatever it might be. Everybody wants to host those things. We just, it's just not the responsible thing to do right now. Um, so, you know, we're going through that. Um, but again, it's, it's amazing how our membership has rallied. A lot of people would be sort of freaking out. Like, are we going to get to play golf? You know, when, when are we opening? Um, are, are there going to be refunds? Are there going to be prorations of our dues because we're not getting to use stuff right away and, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And not, none of that is happening. Our membership's relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, just in the last few days, uh, I've started, we have a lot of members, so it's taken me a while, but I've started <laughs> just going down the list. Uh, I started with our women's membership, uh, started the alphabetical list, and I'm just making a handful of calls each day to say hi, check in, see how people are doing, what they're doing to stay busy. Um, and that's been really good. And, and the support comes right back. Uh, the number of people that are asking me, you know, how are you doing? How's Jennifer, our food and beverage manager doing? How's Todd, you know, checking in with our staff. And it, it's been, that's been, again, a, just a rewarding experience. And in spite of a, a terrible scenario for everybody, these the people that are part of this place are, for lack of a better word, awesome. They're, yeah. they're and fantastic people. Not only is it, is it why you're doing it, but it, it just comes full circle, right? Like, when, when, when you're feeling down, especially in these times, 
the last thing sometimes you want to do is reach out but then as soon as you do reach out to somebody not only are you touching that person and is it it helps that person it's helping you too because you're yeah. you're allowing yourself to to continue to connect so um i love that well, you're taking that opportunity and it's and it's coming full circle it makes so much sense yeah and i think that that was a big thing for me i mean my my job is a very social job you know yeah. it's, it's interacting with members it's relationship building it's community engagement it's all those things and to not be able to do them the way I'm used to is very odd for me uh, I am very much not the guy who sits at his computer and does administrative work for hours on end and I just can't do it so even from a selfish standpoint the idea to call people was like this is great I get to actually connect with people and talk on the phone with them, with another human being yeah. uh, instead of staring at the screen or staring at the four walls around me um, so it's, it's been, it's been really positive, uh, again, you know, in spite of the, the terrible scenario. So good, good. So far well, so good. That's awesome. And, and I really appreciate you taking this time for us to connect and, and although it's not in person, we can still see each other's face a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Good. And I think, I think that's another really cool thing is that technology is huge right now. Yeah. Um, you know, if we didn't have things like this or FaceTime or Skype or zoom, whatever it is, um, how, much more isolating it would be to not be able to connect with people. Totally. Like I just in my phone calls the last couple of days, I've heard some of the, the members are connecting on FaceTime or whatever and having a drink together. You yeah. know, that's you pretty cool. Little happy You're, hours. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like <laughs> virtual happy hour. I think that's yeah. a great idea. Um, so you know what, if people can continue to do that and keep spirits up, right we'll get through all this craziness for sure. Right on. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Kyle. And I'm, and I'm sure all of your members and your viewers will appreciate seeing you today and, and hearing from you as well. Oh, my pleasure, Jenna. It was, it was great. And it's great to sort of see you. Yeah, right? um, <laughs> and uh, hopefully there'll be a chance for us to connect in person in the semi near future anyway. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Kyle. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye. See ya.